Lewis, apparently in the Heights, is still not diverse enough. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and this story is bonkers. So happy to have from the Latinx community, Louis Lecca here. How you doing, Louis? Don't ever call me that. <laughs> uh, Louis, I wanted to bring you here because I saw this story. I saw a sort of, well, for, the story starts here. We're in the Heights, a film I did really, I did enjoy. I enjoyed the film on HBO Max. It was a little long, definitely overly long. It could have tightened it up a bit. Um, but uh, I, look, visually stunning. I like the music. I do enjoy musicals. I thought they did, uh, the director did a great job adapting it. Uh, but in the Heights did not do well at the box office. And now even the trades are admitting it's not because it was on HBO Max, which I maybe assumed, you know, a lot of maybe families just stayed home, saved some money. No, apparently the, the numbers on, on HBO Max were also low, just proving that audiences just were not that into this movie. Now, Lewis, I saw this movie everywhere. They were marketing this movie like crazy. Uh, the marketing budget on this was ginormous. They, they even brought out Oprah and all these celeb. The Rock were like doing promotions to talk about how amazing and important this film is uh, and they even like all over the poster right from the the director of crazy rich asians right because that was a big hit so hey yep. latin community this is your crazy rich asians come in and see this movie they were hoping so much for this to be a huge monumental hit and it performed soft it didn't do as well as they hoped now the reasons for that who, who really knows uh, it, it just i think it's not an ip people are familiar with just clearly it's not. a musical. Yeah, musical. Period. Good point. A lot of people just don't want to yep. watch musicals. Uh, it's just a lot of people are just like, eh, whatever. I, who cares? Uh, and so the most interesting part of this, though, I wasn't going to sort of revel in its downfall, the box office. But then I saw this. Lin-Manuel Miranda had to apologize for In the Heights colorism. And he did a whole thing because apparently he's been criticized on Twitter over the weekend for sidelining the Afro-Latino presence in the real Washington Heights. Oh my gosh, Lewis, this just made me so like, what? Like, uh, uh, this film, I have to say, I'm with a Puerto Rican, uh, my, my partner is Puerto Rican. She loved it. Just, and it wasn't a film about Puerto Rico. It was just a film about a lot of Latin heritage and sort of the, their story of coming through. She didn't see the color. I mean, it was, just, it was just a nice thing to see the flags and everybody represented from all the Latin countries. There were a lot of people in the cast. I, I, I feel like, and I, Lewis, I, I'm curious your thoughts, but there are you know black members of the cast. There are dark-skinned people in the film. Apparently not enough dark-skinned lead members. So now it's being, uh, you know, canceled or blocked and Lin-Manuel Miranda has to apologize uh, for not having enough dark-skinned Latinos in the film. I mean, what's going on, Lewis? This is, is this really helpful? This film should be celebrated for its diversity. When have we gotten a film like this with so much Latin people in it, in lead, supporting all across the board, and now we're going to tank this film at the box office and label it not diverse? And I mean, do, do, what are they, they're shooting themselves in the foot? What on earth? Do, what are they doing, Lewis? I need your insight on this. Listen, man, Latinos are not upset at this. Latinx are. It's a difference, okay? And here's a difference: they're all political uh, activists, and uh, they're trying to fight for equality. And you know what? They're like a dog chasing a car. They wouldn't know what to do with it when they caught up to it. All right. The movie did not perform well. Uh, now you're getting uh, criticized. Uh, no good deed goes unpunished. Why should Hollywood make another one of these with a full Latin? There's no, right. there's no effing reason. I feel like there's an un, uh, uh, like Star Sidious. There's a plan here to just sabotage uh, Latin people from even having their own movie and stuff like that because this is counterproductive. I want to see the same kind of energy when a movie takes place in LA because this was a reporter who brought up the issue about colorism, which I never heard of, right? Um, a reporter asked about the colors of the cast and stuff. I want to see that same energy from that kind of reporter when a movie's filmed in LA and there's not one Latin person in the Yep. effing movie yep. and it's based and filmed in LA where's the energy for that nowhere right dumbasses it's so true I mean you never get a film like this and now they're out there figuring out well why didn't you have a dark I mean in the heights has afro latino where were the I mean like and it got Lewis I, when I saw his apology I just like dude I know I he's I, I, I'm I, sorry I, man yeah I'm dude so, you why did first. you apologize no. now you're gonna let them you would you ignite you took the loss 
I started writing in the Heights because I didn't feel seen over the past 20 years. All I wanted for us was all of us to be seen. I, I'm seeing the discussion around Afro-Latino representation in our film this weekend, and it's clear that many in our dark-skinned Afro-Latino community don't feel sufficiently represented within it, particularly among the leading roles. I can hear the hurt, frustration over colorism of feeling still unseen and the feedback. I hear that without sufficient dark-skinned Afro-Latino representation, the work feels extractive of the community we wanted so much to represent with pride and joy. I'm trying to paint a mosaic of this community we fell short. I'm truly sorry. No, you didn't fall short. Jesus. Stand by your work. You're so proud of this. I'm oh. learning from the feedback. I thank you for raising it. And I'm listening. Listening to who? These people weren't going to go see the movie anyway. No. Why, why are we bowing down and pleasing these people who clearly don't want to see the film and are such a small part of the film that they're just ra- this is This is a nothing burger. At the end of the day, this is nothing. These people who are going to hate you are going to hate you no matter what. I'm trying to hold a space for both the incredible pride in the movie, which we made, and, uh, and be accountable for our shortcomings. Thank you for your honest feedback. I promise to do better in my future projects. Oh, boy, I can't wait. And I'm dedicated to the learning and evolving we all have to do to make sure we are honoring our diverse and vibrant community. Siempre, Lin-Manuel Miranda. I mean, God, this is so sad. This is so it's like, awful, man. He's like he's as Hollywood as it gets. He's got to go do this. His whole community. He can't have anybody in the community, any community, dislike him. I, I I understand why he feels the need to do this. Oh, but I think it's such a mistake for him to make that sort of bow down apology. Like this movie has sh- shortcomings. Lewis, this movie has no shortcomings. And I'm sorry that you guys did. You even watch the damn movie? The cast is Afro Latino. The the main uh, uh, actress yeah, um, right Leslie Jones. Let's see, Grace. Sorry, she she describes herself as Afro Latina from Dominican Republic, and then these people that are complaining are so concerned about I- identities and what you uh, label yourself as, and they don't respect her. What she says, you guys are a bunch of hypocrites, man. We're We've putting got, the, yeah. the the entire thing back. It's so frustrating. Even me being a reporter in the industry, we get so many setbacks, and we get this the entire cast uh, going out of their way to talk to people of color in the community more than anything. And this is the thank you we, uh, we give them. We have become so entitled S- stupid as a, com- as a community. It's, it's like you, it's, you know, there's no wins. I mean, think of like the, it's, it's a completely different topic, but even just like when they got the Snyder cut, it's not enough. We now restore the Snyder. Like we, as I feel like just the internet, social media, right? There's just a whole audience of just these, this new generation who demand that they get what they want. Uh, and it's like they they don't they don't you just said it they they're they're unaware una, unwilling and unable to see how huge of a win this movie was for the Latin community like a huge win to have this and and it sucks that the movie didn't do well I think the movie was was good um, but my God to now drown this movie and now Lin Manuel Miranda is like literally you just you just took the L. You just now accepted that this movie yeah. isn't wasn't done right. It has shortcomings. Mm-hmm. That's what you just gave them. What for what? That is ridiculous. If you want to, if you want to make sure you're, uh, I'm just, I'm getting so fed up with this the is fact amazing. that we I have- couldn't even make. I wanted to make a video on this man, and I couldn't because my heart was palpitating. The entire cast is Afro Latino. Anthony Ramos, all right. Uh, m- m- uh, was it Leslie Grace? Jimmy Smith is mixed. I'm sorry. I- I'm sure if you interview him and you ask him, he'll say it. Uh, Gregory Diaz, uh, Daphne v- uh, Vega. They're all Afro Latino mix. Get the f out of here, guys. Not, you guys are ri- you not guys are, mixed are enough. Sabotaging the movement. <laughs> Huh? Not mixed enough. How dare you? You need exactly this color grade or you're racist is really what it's turning into. It's it's mad. And that's what's so frustrating because, of course, we want diversity. We want representation. But, my God, it's getting insane. It's getting insane. And these, I, I don't want to hate calling it the woke warrior or whatever, social justice. It, it, but there needs to be a new term for this. It's gotten so extreme now, Lewis that it, it really is going to just blow it all up. I mean, and the fact is, I, people are just getting sick of it. 
And, and the fact that this movie, which is a good movie, I think a really well done, important story for the Latin community. Yes. I, I think people should go check it out on HBO Max or in theaters, uh, not just shrug it off because of the stupid outrage. Uh, but yeah, you you are told you said in the beginning, it's the Latinx community who's making this a big deal. Uh, it's a, it's always these communities who don't really. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, and if you go on Twitter, you'll see a lot of people defending Lynn. Why did you apologize? Why did you do this? The movie was fine, uh, but uh, this makes me sad. I love the movie. This controversy is ridiculous. Uh, there's there's so much here. Um, there's and, some bashing too. Yeah, there's bashing. some bashing. Uh, but anyway, uh, as an, I want to also an Afro Latina, uh, I'm proud as a Brazilian. When I saw my flag, I cried yep. like a baby. Thank you for all you've done. This movie, like. Be grateful for what we have. Stop shitting on things because it's just not dark enough. It's crazy. Uh, Lewis, final thoughts. Go ahead. Well, if you see that lady, she uses the word Latin, which is the gender neutral term for uh, Latin people or Latinos if you're speaking English. So she's got it right. It's a Latinx community <laughs> or the Latin or whatever. You guys are fools. You're actually the real racist. We're, sending, we're being set back. All right. This was a great thing. And also, uh, John M. Shu, uh, this is so embarrassing, man. Being Asian and, and coming in here and putting your skills to try to do something nice and then get labeled yeah, uh, uh, that racist. There's right. no reason to move forward. If you're Hollywood and you only care about money there's or a producer, you're, there's no reason to move forward with this kind of casting. You get labeled uh, racist and there's no money in it. Why go forward, you dumbasses? You sabotage, you sabotage the fucking movie. Sorry, man. No, I love the heat because you're right. I mean, and then people, well, I don't get it. There were Afro Latinos in the movie. Exactly. Like, no one even knows what this is about. This community out there make. And, but and he right. apologized. Yeah, because now, now it's now it's he's guilty, and that's the reality. He he took it too quick because he's so quick to bow to the graces of the Hollywood gods that he he now he's now it's over. And the reality is, you're right. That reporter, it was a rep, I, I, I should have found the clip somewhere, but it was a reporter that asked John Chu, right, the director. Uh, yeah, like she what? sounded like a. F I'm sorry. The the reporter was uh, described herself as uh, uh, Afro Latina, uh, Afro Cuban, and um, I I like to apologize for her because I'm I'm Cuban as well. And and she used the word Latinx. She sounded like a moron. I'm, <laughs> dude, cancel me. I don't give a freak anymore, dude. Oh, it it was so cringing, man. Instead of saying thanks, but yeah, you're here, still you're right. Here it is and adding to lack of Afro -Lati Latinx. That's what it is. The lack of, oh my God, I promised to do better. No. Oh, wait, wait. Look at this. Look at this. This is a misquote. This is a misquote. He never said Latinx. See how Latinx is shoved down your yeah, uh, by, the this throat? Is by Anthony. He never said Latinx. They misquote uh, Lin Manuel Miranda here. He says Afro Latino. He did. He did. And the damn right reporters use Latinx. Right. Because, like, see, he's apologizing. He made a point, and he's not going to go there. Use Latinx, but he, because he, 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 he agrees. I'm sure it's a stupid term. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I promise to do better. But yeah, uh, I was. Oh, the root. This is where it was. This is the. Yeah, I saw this. This is this is the interview uh, where Cringe. they they uh, they asked it. Hmm. Not a single Afro Latino in the Heights. Uh. I mean, sounds about whitewashed. Look at this. Tw Thirty thousand people, Lewis. This is crazy. Keep the same energy when a movie takes place in Los Angeles and all you see is hipsters. Okay? Keep the same energy. This is the oh, checkers yeah. game. Okay. 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 You only try to sabotage the Latin uh, 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 movies, right? Right. But they don't care. And this is not just about Latin. Like I want to reach out also because I have seen people of different cultures and nationalities come and back us up. And I want to say I appreciate you guys because it, it, it's crazy, bro. <laughs> I was trying to this see if they if they actually yeah oh, so yeah this, this is, is it this is it this is the question I, I do want to look at how cringy this is woman of Cuban descent specifically from New York City it would be remiss of me to not acknowledge the fact that most of your principal actors were light skinned or white passing Latinx people <laughs> so with that what are your thoughts on the lack of black Latinx people represented in your film. My God, yeah, I mean, I think that that was something uh, we talked about. Oh my about. God, just sandbag. Oh, good luck. And um, and I needed to be educated about, of course. In the end, you know, when we were he looking at the educated. cast, we tried to get the people who were best for those roles, and that specifically, and we saw a lot of people, people like Daphne. Yeah, so now you can't get who's Daphne's best for the black. Role. Daphne's Afro Latina, okay? Which one? The lady Daphne? next to her, I, I, did, I didn't get a chance to. But She's Afro Latina. Are, um, you know, trying to fill those cast members with darker skin. I think that's that's I think that's a a, 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 a really good conversation to have. 
something and embarrassing them. Sorry. I didn't realize Sorry. until uh, making this movie that I I didn't really get to see myself or people that look like my siblings that are darker than me on screen. And I didn't realize how much that affected the limitations that this I is also on like myself being someone who wanted to be an artist and be an actress and you know even you guys aren't you guys aren't black enough music industry yeah you could tell uh, the lady on the top right I feel uh, she's so blessed that we get to express the dive in one particular important to okay, anyway. about for latinos there a lot of dark yeah see no one uses like it bro that historically we've been able to fill right we've been able to be the dancers and we've been able to be in the hair salons and you know this and that but like a lead you know that's oh my that's, god Fuck that's this the breakthrough we want to see black people in the heights we want to see afro panamanians black cubans black dominicans you know that's what we want to see and that's what you know we were yearning for and hoping for i hope that you, at least you guys failed uh, that encourages more people to tell more stories and get out there and do it right then there is a long yeah because you didn't watch the movie there's like there's no in box Latin office America. and with that uh, there you go lewis that's that's where this, that's where it all stemmed from so because of her uh now lynn manuel everyone's going to apologize because she's offended because they made their movie if you i'm going to ask your audience standards. right now and there's not much more to say if you are a producer investing money and what what do you get out of this investing you don't get your return and you get labeled assist a racist right um so why why should they move forward with anything like this in the future now i think the movie failed because the promotion was too long uh, but light came in in the middle of it, it was delayed yes i do think hbo max kind of puts a ding in it and the topic is not uh, a wide wide appeal it's a musical and look i like the movie but the music could have been a little, that could have been a little bit more diverse. It all sounded the same, like salsa to me. I, w I would have loved to hear some house music, which is part of the community. It's something a, very, a little different. It's, it's a very I wasn't, Hamilton I wasn't real, style music. With it was one style music yeah. and that may be okay. But, but other than that, uh, you know, there's hey. no like catchy song at the end that I was humming, you know, because even in the, in the Heights was the one moment, but it's still not really in a chorus. I, I agree. It's just a lot of talk singing. Uh, but I look, I, I, I enjoyed the film, I think, more than Lewis. But yeah, I mean, what, am I, what do I know? I'm white. Uh, <laughs> I can't, I'm not allowed to like no, it. No, I enjoyed the film, man. It, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's well made. I think, yeah, well, I love the sequence on the stairwells when they're walked on the wall. Like, there's some really cool sequences and dance stuff. It's, it's good. Uh, but yeah, this, this outrage is insane to me. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, make sure you go show Lewis some love over at nerdreport.com or youtube.com slash nerdreport. Uh, make sure you subscribe here as well to Popcorn Planet. We got lots more coming. In fact, we'll be live tonight, Lewis. Uh, I got uh, the fella who uh, got reamed by uh, James Mangold, Matthew uh, Kata. She's oh, coming nice. on the stream tonight. We'll be talking about that, so make sure to join us live. Oh, and before I go, I should plug one more thing, guys. That's right. The new best movie ever is out, Howard the Duck. We got Howard the Duck himself, Mr. Ed Gale there. I'm going to put the video nice one. right there. Go click on best movie ever with Howard the Duck. Uh, tell us your comments down below. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay tuned for more. We'll be live tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, every Tuesday, Thursday.